You can decide today you want to be president. You could decide tomorrow you want to traverse through deep space and discover the first alien species. I don't care what you decide. But what you need to not do, you and that 50-year-old who swears to everything that he's the new coming of Usher, he swears he's Neo, what you need to do is take that Vultures album, throw it away, restart, and then leave the studio. Just leave. I am not about to listen to two 50-year-olds. One is nonchalantly narrating his, his lyrics to me. And the other one is singing in my ear and hitting notes that he shouldn't be hitting. This nigga thinks he's Peter Pan. And this nigga, on the other hand, is like... Yeah, welcome to the album. We we in here. I got all the vo- like. No. If you watched a little album release party or whatever, whatever you want to call it, rave, whatever, you have Offset, Dirk, and Kodak standing in the background. Even Chris Brown, they are standing in the background like this. Just looking around. And then you got Freddie Gibbs, who has the most energy here. Why? Why am am I getting a, like Kanye has entered that like DJ Khaled realm where he's just pulling a bunch of people together. He's like, yeah, man, let's make this. And it's just going to come out with him and Ty Dolla Sign on every song and then a bunch of other niggas on some other songs. Bro, keep that bloated bullshit, please. I don't want it. Keep it. They played like seven or eight songs last night and the only song that went crazy was the Young Thug song because Thug was spazzing and Thug ain't no dud. The rest of them niggas that's on the projects is duds, bro. Chris Brown's career was over after he hit Rihanna. I promise you it was. Niggas ain't looking for Chris Brown music. Nobody. Offset. Offset goes crazy. But he dropped a a project that flew under the radar. People ain't pay attention to it. It's like a lot of the hype for for him and uh, Quavo. It's not really like it used to be, bro. Niggas look at them as like, you know, they're legendary. They've done their shit. We cool on that. They did their thing. They, we moved on from that sound, right? You got Lil Dirk, who can go, but never wants to, right? I think Lil Baby was there at some point, I think. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know why he's there. He ain't doing nothing memorable in the last two years. You have Kodak, who... I think Kodak got blackballed at this point. He just be dropping. And don't nobody be saying nothing. You went and got some, you got the light-skinned nigga from Holes, because I don't know who that was on the stage. I don't know who that is. He up there rapping a verse. He feel like he going crazy. The crowd just looking at him like, what is this? And then according to the to all the, all the streams, according to all the fans and everybody, that's one of the songs that released recently. I kind of want to listen to it. We might listen to it because I ain't heard nothing. I, I didn't hear nothing through my through my headphones yet. Not really. I'm not counting what I heard last night. That shit was ass. I'm not counting that. Kanye, like, and even then, that particular song that I'm thinking of, bro. No, there was one song. That bitch had to have been nine minutes. It had to have been. Kanye gave a verse. And then Ty Dolla Sign was in my ear for like five minutes straight. Literally had to have been five, seven minutes straight of him just. Why? You're 52. Go, nigga, go open a pediatrician. Sit on the couch. 
Read a book. What is you talking about? Yeah, I went on hold. And I can't even like fathom or comprehend the shit that goes on in Kanye's head. At some point, this nigga put a black KKK hood on. What are you on? What are you on? What are you smoking? What what heroin are you messing with? What dog food is that? You got a black KKK mask on now? A, a KKK hood? What is going on? And what's even worse is he has it on and his daughter is right next to him while he's wearing it. What kind of fucking role model was that? Then he's got a line in one of the songs talking about some, how can I be, uh, what is it, anti-Semitic? I just fucked a Jewish bitch. Nigga, you might be dumb as shit. Like, what the, what? Bro, if y'all are excited for this bullshit ass drop, by all means, go crazy for it. Hell yeah, it's Kanye. Woo! But I'm telling you, that shit is fucking trash, and it's gonna be trash. Man, these niggas ain't making no good music no more. And y'all swear they be going crazy. That shit be pissing me off, bro. That shit be pissing me off. Do I even want to hear this shit? We'll listen to it. Fuck it. Let me hear this bullshit ass song. Kanye. What's the name of the song? Did it drop? Oh, that's the one with, um, that's the one Freddie Gibbs. Yeah, that song was ass. We not listening to that. I promise we ain't. And uh, that shit is five minutes. I swear that song was nine minutes during that listening party. We not listening to that shit. Their verses were trash, and then Freddie Gibbs came in and kind of saved it, but it, nigga, there is no saving grace for a song that's already four minutes long of two old head niggas potentially basically making music for people who aren't even listening to them. Old head niggas ain't listening to Kanye. Kanye's fans are the the the, the little frat boys. They they not finna listen to this. Why would they? Ty Dolla Sign make music for the I, I guess the hoes that don't have no brain. That don't have any 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 brain meats or any intellectual properties about themselves. Like, what are we listening to? But y'all got it, bro. That's y'all album. That's what y'all fucking with. That's y'all. That's y'all hero, man. And I, I don't want to be disrespectful or nothing or say nothing crazy because I mess with Kanye. No, I lied. I want to be disrespectful. I really do, because Kanye has. One of my top five greatest albums of all time in his discography. And we talking about graduation. We ain't talking about nothing else. But when I listen, I just listened to that before this video. When I listen to that and then I hear all this. I'm ready to fight you, buddy. I'm ready to disown you. Keep that album. Don't drop that shit. And why are you making a, a collab album with Ty Dolla Sign? Who the fuck listens to Ty Dolla Sign? That nigga is 